Hello, welcome back to Honey Badger 3D Print and Paint. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to paint marble. But before we do that, roll those credits. Right, welcome back. Now, if you see our recent video on the second Warlord Titan we printed, um, the one we printed this time we did all in resin. Now, if you see that video, I'll put a link to it in the description, you'll see some of them panels were marbled. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how we did that. It's relatively straightforward. It just takes a little bit of time because of drying. There's a few there's a few coats you have to do. So, first of all, what you need are some disinfectant wipes. Any brand will do. I actually found these ones better than I've used I used three different types while doing these. I found these ones the best. Because what you need to do you dry them out on a radiator or anything like that, or just leave them out, and then what you want to do is stretch them. Open up all the fibres, and you'll see holes start to appear. And it's them holes you want. So, there you go, you can see, you can see how that opens up now. Now the first thing you want to do, um, this needs to be done with an airbrush. So first thing is you need to put a base coat down. This is primed grey. What I so the colour type I wanted to use was like a grey and white marble. So first of all, you need to put like a metallic silvery colour down. I use gunmetal grey from Green Stuff World. So, let's put some of that in the airbrush. Now what you want to do is just put an even coat over all of it. Right, there you go. You can see it's got silver all over it. So now you want to set this aside, leave it to dry for 10 minutes. So, this is dry now. Now the next colour you want to do is a grey. So I used Green Stuff World Steel Grey. Let's load some of that in the airbrush. Now, for this next part, you take the uh, disinfectant wipe and you pull it tight over the piece now you spray through it now you don't want to just put a, an even coat over all of it you want some close bits and pull out, pull in and pull out because you want it patterned now take this off straight away and what you're left with is you'll see a real random pattern of the grey over the silver so again set this aside for a few minutes to dry right now this is dried so it only takes a few minutes next coat is white I'm using a uh, scale colour. I actually used Vallejo airbrush white, but I've run out of that. 
on the last piece of marble on the Titan. It just got enough out of it and finished it. So again, you place your disinfectant wipe across it, pull it nice and tight. There you go. Put some of this white in the airbrush. All right, we're gonna hold it nice and tight. And the same as we did with a grey. Right, now we're going to take this off. There you go. So you're going to leave this to dry now, again. Right, so while you leave this to dry, what you can do as well, I've got this panel, which was from the Titan, but you see it actually had a foul when it was printing. So I actually used this as a tester while I was doing the marble and stuff like that. So what we're going to do now with this one, let's get some gold. We're going to use Green Stuff Weld El Dorado. There you go. This time we're going to do a base colour of gold. So, this time I'm going to use the same grey again. Same as before. Place the wipe over. Take it off, let that dry.
Okay, so now that's dried again. Put the wipe over. This time loaded the airbrush with white. So, that's what we're left with. Now, if you think you want more white on it, let that dry. Put it over again, do it and get more white. Because you'll see with these two, this one's got a lot more white, this one's got a lot less. So if you leave this to dry first, then once it's dry, put a clean piece to wipe over it. take it off you'll see there's more white there right now when it's done what you'll start to see you'll start to see all little veins in there to make it look like marble now this bottom one you'll see what I did there this is one of my practice ones I had the white too watery and what you can see is it just sort of all blended in and made like a grey whitey panel but once you get a bit of practice, you should start seeing them veins in there. Now there's one more step to this. Gloss varnish. Once you've got it done and it's dry, you want to varnish it. Right now, so the last step, you want to varnish it. Reason being is once you put some gloss varnish on it, it picks out a lot of them colours. It starts to pick out a lot of the colours. So let's set them to dry. So now these have both dried. And uh, what you can see is once the varnish is on now, it brings out a lot of the colours. So, so there's two, okay these look different, so obviously this one's gold, this one's silver. But personally I prefer the look of this one because of the white. So, when you're going close with the airbrush you get the wide circles. Um, I feel like there's just a bit too much on this silver one, whereas the gold one, I think I got it just about spot on. So it's just practice really, before you're going to do this on a finished, you know, on a, a final model, have a practice on something. This was a fouled print off the Titan, this was a spare piece of armour, I didn't realise there was two, one that had a... Uh, detail on it and one that didn't so I didn't use the one that had no detail um, but yeah give it a go you can really use any colours on these so you know there's nothing to stop you from doing yellows, reds and orange um, all you really need is three contrasting colours you need a base colour you need a stony colour to tie it together and the white just to bring out 
all that detail. So, you know, you can mix and match this whatever colours you like. Um, this is actually the first time I've done the gold, and I've got to say, I wish I'd have done the Titan with gold. That looks really good. I really like that. So, have a go. Obviously, this is going to be for a bigger miniature, not, you know, not everything. Um, it's really best suited for bigger pieces, but have a go. You know, send us the pictures of what you do. Let us know how it goes on. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. There are plenty more videos coming. We've, we've got loads saved up ready to release and loads ready to film, so... It's a bit hectic at the minute. But um, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next video. Thanks a lot. Bye.